Ay, mga gaki at dari mo. Hey! Hi! May buntag, may hapon, may gabi ito. Everyone, or kaninyong tanan nga makasugat ani nga live karon. Um, I just it has been I I made a pledge to myself. Uh, I would be doing um, go lives on a Thursday evening, um, be it uh, an interview. Um, I was supposed to bring on someone tonight, but then there were scheduling. Um, <laughs> uh, Miss miscommunication. So hopefully by tomorrow, I don't know tomorrow or if not next week. So so for tonight, um, I was actually uh, not really. I was not ready of um, a particular topic for tonight. I was supposed to continue my um, my topic from last week, but then because I thought I was going to have an interview, so I, I didn't get ready for it. So, Munesha, um, but I don't know uh, when you are maybe when I don't know if. Uh, you might believe it or not, but um, <clears throat> in in this kind of business, in our um, online business, um, it's very uh, um, in attraction marketing. The law of attraction. It's very um, it's widely known, right? And a lot of um, people who are doing this kind of business are also. Um, into attraction marketing so I, I don't know if I attracted that um, conversation that I had earlier but um, I I just got into a chat with someone um, uh, asking me to for if possible if I can help with um, uh, their products in in their business unfortunately because I am um, in social media not not to be just a, a content creator or a blogger or an influencer I'm here because um, I'm also promoting the digital business so fortunately I can't help other businesses in that in that regard it, because I am promoting my own business right and it's not it's um, it's a no-no in the digital business to be cross promoting other products um, in the digital business our product itself is the the business right and apart from that um, our training package our very comprehensive um, user-friendly um, what else uh, step by step uh, like YouTube um, YouTube like uh, training package it's it's um, one of a kind and um, I think it's just one if not one of the best sorry I said that wrong it's the best if not one of the best out there in the world today and how am I able to to say that because while I was in this conversation with with the uh, with the person I was chatting with, um, yeah, I made the suggestion like um, since you are in your business and um, you're uh, looking for for um, for uh, clients, right? So being in social media and being a digital business mentor, I, I suggested like we are already in social media right so um why can't don't you just um open a business page where you can um where you can uh like feature your products on there right and then uh, i was surprised with the reply because 
um, apparently they're not um, allowed to <clears throat> uh, like sell or like um, promote their the the products online as well so it's it's um it's just it just kinds of uh ring like rings a bell for me because um I, that's why i said i'm saying now that um i really appreciate um how our founders darren and mike have created this um training package this kind of system for us so that we um who are uh in this kind of business really have a way of um reaching out to people and um it's not that we're promoting products here we are promoting a business the business right so um what we are looking for are people who are looking for um, lucrative side hustle and not just a lucrative one but one that is for long term um, our trainings our access to our trainings with just um, that one time um, purchase of uh, the um, training package it's there for a lifetime and i've always or a lot of us a lot of digital business owners out there are talking about it our training package is very comprehensive and it's updated every time like just this week <clears throat> we have a, a new update that we had to do on our websites because um we are looking to to upgrade our system again and um it's just great that not um people from all walks of life from all age range are able to to do what is needed for for us and like mind you not not everyone who started this digital business is tech savvy like most of us were born maybe in the 60s 70s 80s and um where the the computer wasn't that um very uh used yet um maybe in the here in canada or in the united states is um they're they're advanced they already have those in back in those years but um for us back home in the philippines were i don't know now but um before when i was younger <laughs> we i what i know is that we are um like we were lagging 50 years behind from the u.s in terms of technology so yeah that's why i like i was thinking after our chat and i i really um um appreciative of the kind of uh training package the the system the just the entire system that we have here um like for one we don't have to reach out to to people just to um just to like bug them into like doing a business with us or something like that um that's why we call this attraction marketing because we just get the information out there and um if people who are interested who are in the same um, mindset as us and are looking for a, a legitimate business online that they can start um and you don't have to know anything about um uh Mar the uh, marketing online business or you don't even have to be tech savvy like mind you there are um retirees who are who are um rocking rocking this business so that's why i have um that's why i'm saying that i am very appreciative of the the kind of system that we have in the digital business because it caters to 
to a lot of people and yeah uh, all all people from all walks of life you only have to exert the effort um you just have to be motivated enough to to get into that um mindset of um i am a business owner and i have to do the things that i need to do step up right because no one is going to run after you um even if we have mentors we have coaches here we will never bug um each other to to push them to to work um in their business because it's their business right so um yeah that's it and before i go i was just going to uh, think i was thinking of sharing an update on the paypal account that um yeah my experience with paypal just recently and so i'm grateful uh that uh they credited that that amount which was taken from which was charged to my account um because it, my account was hacked so i was really going to fight it um it didn't go necessarily the way i would have wanted to but at least i got the help that um i needed thanks to my husband for pushing me to accept the the help because um i was adamant on on the way i wanted it to go but um i was advised that it would be um easier if we go this path so um yeah we took that path and it was like uh the the feedback came faster and aside from that i also reached out to um instacart the vendor where they with where the the people who hacked my account purchased from and i uh, submitted my documents to them already and also with my um bank or my credit card provider which i have um attached to paypal i also have um submitted my paperwork on there so um yeah i'm i'm grateful for all the help that i i got um i just remember to share this because i know i i promised that i would give you updates but then things come up a lot of things and it just people that uh no sorry things that i i said i'm going to do most of the time just gets into the back burner right so um it's a good thing i remember tonight to just share it so um a lot of you will be informed also um yeah and um aside from that my paypal account got hacked again just over the weekend and i was really wondering why and so um when i called again uh reached out to people i was um advised that uh i should um do the like redo my security settings and stuff and so i went into their security options and gosh there were a lot there and i even realized that i didn't set up my um uh questions uh the security questions right because that account has been there for a long time and then i really wasn't using it for for a while just every now and then once in a blue moon so and so now i have updated it and i am just guessing that's why they have um it it's easy for them to access my account um the second time because i noticed there was a pass key that was um that was set on there and i don't remember setting a pass key even on my old phone and i checked that old phone and there wasn't on there so i i took that pass key off and um yeah i i set another set of um security settings on there and i'm watching my emails more um more uh frequently now before i like i would check emails like 
maybe twice or three times in a week but now like every time I get a notification I always just go scroll on there and see if um, there's any notification of someone um, charging because I get notifications for my um, other accounts that um, if ever I have purchases or something I get notifications all the time but with PayPal now I'm really I'm really watching it close closer now and yeah I would um, this is just uh, an unsolicited advice to everyone out there to if you have accounts opened and it involves um your financial um yeah you have your bank account on there just check it every now and then and um make sure your security security settings are on um two-factor authentications on our phones are are good because um they are um, attached to our personal emails right so um, I think that's a good way of securing our account and yeah um, always set up security questions like uh, those are I think for me are very because secure our security questions are very personal right so not everyone like only your close family would would know um, stuff so choose those security questions where the answers would be really be personal to you and um so you know that no one else would be able to to access your accounts and um yeah i was also advised to make my um uh, passwords uh, a bit longer and i don't know this time i i put on their um more more than one special character so <laughs> hopefully that's um that's one uh one way of making my paypal account more secure but um really it's it's just um surprising how people can get very very um sneaky very i don't know how I, I don't like to say um good adjectives <laughs> because like hacking into someone's very private account it's it's not good right um well uh it's not we can't expect people to be good all the time although um we know that there's always good and bad in us and we can always choose to be good right um I just hope what I experience doesn't um it's not be won't be experienced by anyone else because it's such nerve wracking. It's I've had sleepless nights um because of that experience and so that's why I'm sharing this experience with, with you tonight. So um I hope you get a lesson from it as well and yeah, uh, just one, one advice, um, check your accounts, most especially for those accounts that you rarely, um, use, right? Maybe just once in a blue moon, you, you get into this account and you have, uh, payment information on there. If you're not using it, just take out your, your credit card, um, information or your bank account from, from that, uh, site and like if um in the future you're going to go and visit this site again you can always add it right but um yeah ju let's just um make our our finances more secure we our money are hard-earned right i i don't know if there's a lot out there who who picks um just bills on the road um we work hard to to earn what what we have and um it's it's not fair it's not good for people to just easily take it away from us just because they're very crafty in in doing things online and um well yeah i know um there will be repercussions 
it might not be coming from me but for sure in the future in the near future people will be found out and um yeah people will have to pay the price and but um yeah for all those all you good pe good people out there um let's just take our um accounts most especially our financial accounts to heart and protect them um it's not just for ourselves it's for our family right so um yeah that's gotten to be more serious but um that's it for me tonight i just wanted to really to share um i got more appreciative of uh the digital business um training um the platform that we have the we have a lot of good people who who train us mind you our coaches volunteer to train a whole team of hundred and thousand people right so it's it's a, a very selfless um act to be able to to pay it forward yes um we are earning from from being uh from mentoring from coaching people uh new digital business owners but then um serving serving them is a more fulfilling job so yeah if you are someone who is looking for uh, a stable or what you not um i'm looking for the a better word but um yeah a long-term business for you um mind you this is not a get rich quick scheme um we always say that because um this is a business and we we need to work on on the business in order for it to grow when we start our business we treat it as our baby so how how do we treat our babies when they're first born um that's how we treat our business and um until such time it will be able to grow and be able to to sustain us to sustain um, our lifestyle so um, that's how we we see our digital business so yeah if you're someone who's looking into the future looking to your retirement and thinking about um, starting your business online now um, now is the the best time to start and the best way to start is through our webinars um just learn about it get the gist and learn from people who are actually doing it um learn about their stories and hopefully by tomorrow or next week i will be able to bring someone on to share their story with you and yeah i think that's it for me tonight it's 8 40 here in edmonton alberta canada and um i'm wishing you all a great evening a great day if you're in the west eastern part of the world and um yeah thank you for catching me live tonight um i can't shout out to the first person watching because i can't read the characters i'm so sorry but lone star and sandrine thank you thank you for watching you all have a good night and i appreciate you all thank you bye for now